So, Nvidia officially unveiled the full specification for their upcoming GeForce RTX 5070 Ti and RTX 5070 graphics cards. Part of the Blackwell lineup. After testing these GPUs earlier this year, the company has finally shared the details, specs, performance plans, and pricing. Let's break down everything you need to know. Starting with the RTX 5070 Ti, this card is positioned as the third fastest GPU in the Blackwell architecture series. It builds on the GB203 GPU die, the same silicon used in the higher-end RTX 5080. The 5070 Ti features 8960 CUDA cores and 16GB of GDDR7 VRAM on a 256-bit memory bus, while its boost clock dips slightly to 2452 MHz down from the RTX 4070 Ti's 2610 MHz. The upgrade of GDDR7 memory delivers a massive 78% bandwidth increase. Nvidia claims this card offers double the performance of the RTX 4070 Ti thanks to architectural improvements and support for the DLSS 4. Power consumption rise to 300 watts, uh, up from the 4070 Ti to 85 watts. Next up is the RTX 5070, which replaced the RTX 4070. This card uses the smaller GB203 GPU die, a departure from a previous XX70 class cards that typically use higher tier dies. It takes 6144 CUDA cores and 12GB of GDDR7 VRAM on 192-bit bus. The memory speed jumps to 28GBs, boosting bandwidth to 672GBs, uh, uh, a 33% increase over the RTX 4070. The boost clock sees a minor uptick to 2512 MHz and the TBP claims to 50 watts up from 220 watts on the 4070 Super. Nvidia boldly claimed the RTX 5070 outperforms the RTX 4090 in certain scenarios, though this likely depends heavily on the LSS4. Nvidia markets both cards as powerful 1440 pixel CPUs with the RTX 5070 Ti edging closer to 4K readiness. The RTX 5070 claimed to beating the RTX 4090 raises eyebrows, but if true, it would redefine expectations of the mid-tier pricing. Both GPUs leverage GDDR7 faster speeds and uh, improve efficiency, though uh, the 5070 Ti 16GB VRAM gives in an edge for the future proofing. The RTX 5070 Ti 300 watts power draw and the 5070 250 watts uh, rating suggest AIB model will require robust cooling solutions. Nvidia Founders Edition cards will launch first, with the 5070 Ti arriving on February 20th and the 5070 following in March. However, securing one at launch might be challenging. Retailers in Japan are already planning a lottery system for sales, hinting at limited stock. Nvidia's pricing strategy here is aggressive, with both cards undercutting their predecessors by $50. The RTX 5070 Ti 16GB VRAM and bandwidth leap make it compelling upgrade, while the RTX 5070 performance claims disrupt the mid-range market. They say the smaller GB205 die on the 5070 and the reliance on DLSS 4 for flagship tier performance leave room for uh, skepticism. If Nvidia delivers on these promises, Team Green might dominate uh, 2024 GPU wars. That is all for today. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.